Hi guys, what is going on? Jack from Minifigs and today I'll be talking about 10 of the best Lego sets that you need to buy that are retiring in 2023. And unlike a lot of my other videos, these won't just be Lego Star Wars sets we'll be talking about today, but there will be various other sets that you may be interested in buying for this year. But before we get into our top 10 list, it's worth noting that I'm not a financial advisor and this certainly isn't financial advice. This is just my opinion on some Lego sets that I personally will be investing in as I think they'll be really good in the future. So into our top 10 list now and at 10th place we have Obi-Wan vs Darth Vader set 75334. Now I know this set hasn't been too popular with many LEGO Star Wars fans recently, however, I personally can see a fair few positives in this set. For starters, it has 4 unique minifigures, 2 of which are actually brilliant. And that Ned B minifigure is a real standout in this set. It's an amazing figure with a brilliant design and that amazing torso piece. And although I certainly wouldn't recommend buying this set at retail price, as personally I do think it is far too expensive, I've seen this regularly on Amazon for about £30, and for £30 for 4 really good minifigures, personally that's a really good deal in my opinion. And in at number 9 we have Neytiri and the Thanator versus the AMP suit Quaritch, and the set number is 75571 with the price being £39.99 in the UK and £44.99 in the US and Europe. There's not too much to say about this set really, other than the fact that it's one of the cheaper Avatar sets that's available to buy, and it also comes with two really good minifigures from the original movie, and that amazing AMP suit, which looks like it was taken straight out of the Alien franchise. And seen as it looks like the Avatar is set to become a really big franchise in the future going forward, I think that a lot of the Avatar sets could do a lot better than I originally suspected. And this set will be no exception, as it features two of the main characters from the franchise, one of which is Colonel Quaritch, which is arguably one of the best characters from the whole franchise, with many fans loving him, and he's an exclusive minifigure to this set. So I really do think that that great minifigure and the overall design of the fantastic AMP suit will really go in this set's favour in the future. Next up we have the Fast and the Furious Dom's Dodge Charger and it's set number 76912 with the price being $19.99 in the UK and the US and $24.99 in Europe. Not only do a lot of the LEGO Speed Champions do pretty well in the future once they've retired, but I think what this set really has going for it is that it's actually from a franchise, that being the Fast and the Furious, and even features a character minifigure, that being Vin Diesel's popular character Dominic Toretto. So any big Fast and Furious fans will definitely be wanting to get their hands on this once it's retired. And this set will go really well with the recently released GTR that features the Paul Walker minifigure. And people who buy that newer set will likely want the Dodge Charger, as they will both complement one another really well. So whether you buy this set at retail price or on discount, it's still going to be a fairly cheap investment. And there certainly won't be much to lose. Moving on to number 7, we have the Speed Champions Aston Martin DB5, and it's set number 76911, with the price being $19.99 in the UK and the US, and $24.99 in Europe. When this set was originally leaked, we as the LEGO community couldn't believe just how lucky we were to be able to get a James Bond car and minifigure. LEGO absolutely knocked it out of the park with the design for the iconic car Plus, the James Bond minifigure was so, so cool. And it's hard to see that LEGO will ever make another James Bond LEGO set in the future. And bearing in mind that this LEGO set has hardly had the longest of shelf lives, only being released in August of 2022. So by the time it retires, it will have barely been on shelves for just over a year. So with a short shelf life, an amazing design, a great minifigure, it was really going to be hard not to put the Aston Martin on my top 10 list for today. Moving on now to number 6, we have the Horizon Zero Dawn Toolneck, and the set number is 76989, and the price is $79.99 in the UK, and $89.99 in the US and Europe. Based off of the popular game Horizon Zero Dawn, this Toolneck figure is an absolute must-have if you are both a hardcore gamer and a LEGO fan. And the design and quality of the build really is something to behold. And there's just more of an adult and mature feel to this set, like it was almost designed to be on display rather than played with. And I think that's really going to work in this set's favour once it does eventually retire at the end of the year. 
I personally wouldn't recommend stocking up on a ton of these as it's a little bit more risky as some of the other sets. However, I reckon the ceiling for this set is a lot higher than some of the other sets. So it could be a bit of a risk, but there could also be a very big reward for those who invest in it. Moving on and in at number 5 we have the bookshop, set number 10270, with the price being $169.99 in the UK and $199 in both the US and Europe. As a lot of you will likely know, modular sets tend to do really well on the aftermarket, and I personally expect that the bookshop will perform just as well, if not better, than many of those other sets. It's got a pretty good design, as it's very well detailed, it comes with a nice little selection of minifigures, and it's also got a pretty good price per piece ratio. So if you are able to buy this set at least under 20% retail, then you should be able to see a really good return within the first few years of this set retiring. Moving on at 4th place now, we have the Disney 100th Celebration, and this set is priced at $39.99 in just about all regions. I was recently just in Florida and was able to visit a lot of the Disney parks whilst I was out there, and let me tell you, the hype for Disney is so real. People will pay big bucks just to get their hands on the latest Disney product, especially when that Disney product is a limited release, which is the case for this set. This set was only just released in early February and yet is still due to retire at the end of this year, meaning that it would only have been on shelves for just over 10 months, which is such a short lifespan for a Lego set. And top that with the fact that this is a Disney product featuring some of their most popular characters, this set is sure to be an absolute win. Moving into our top 3 now and with another Brickhead set, we have Gandalf and the Bullrog and the set number is 40631, with the price being $17.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US and Europe. And this is another one of those sets that not only is an exclusive to the LEGO store, but it's also had a really short shelf life. And by the time it retires in December, it will have only been on shelves just about a year. And believe me when I say that this set is a nightmare to find in store, and you'll be lucky to get it online. So it's little things like that, a short shelf life, high demand and low supply that are going to be real things that boost the price of this set once it retires. And it's also interesting that with the recent leak of the Rivendell set that we're going to be getting later this year, how much more LEGO Lord of the Rings sets are going to be coming out in the following years. It looks very much like LEGO will be putting a lot more time and effort into the Lord of the Rings theme in the future. And obviously such a move like that will bring more Lord of the Rings fans into collecting Lego. And with a character as popular as Gandalf the Grey, that makes this brick headset a set you certainly don't want to miss out on. Moving on to second place, we have the Razor Crest. And the set number is 75292, with the price being £119.99 in the UK and £139.99 in the US and Europe. In my opinion, this is one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets that has been designed in the last few years. Everything about this set is absolutely top notch. It's got an amazing design, amazing minifigures, amazing playability, it will look great on the shelves, it just ticks every single box for almost every single demographic. And you can tell just how popular this set is because I almost never will see it on sale anywhere because unlike a lot of LEGO sets, they don't have to lower the price in order to sell vast quantities of this set. It's already super popular. And despite having a rather long shelf life for a Star Wars LEGO set, it still continues to sell really well. So even if you can't get a good discount on this set, don't worry too much. In my personal opinion, I think this LEGO set will perform so well once it retires that it will make up for any discount that you maybe didn't get when buying this set. And moving on to our first place now, and you may have seen this one coming, it's the Republic Fighter Tank. Set number 75342, with the price being $34.99 in the UK and $39.99 in the US and Europe. Now this LEGO set ticks just about every single box you could ever think of when it comes to investing in a LEGO set. People love the LEGO Star Wars theme, it has a fantastic selection of minifigures, it's had a very short shelf life, and there's been very low stock quantities and extremely high demand. So when it does come to retiring, people will still be desperate to get hold of this Lego set. 
because there are still lots of people, mainly in Europe, who still haven't been able to get hold of this set. And if things don't change with the supply chain issue, then there will still be so many people that haven't been able to get hold of this set before it retires. Which, if you're a LEGO investor, and you have got a few of these sets, will certainly be good for business. And not forgetting to mention that, just about any LEGO set that contains clone troopers in it will usually do really well, as people will try hoard a load of clone troopers in order to army build them. So people don't just generally buy one set that contains clone troopers in, they'll be buying multiple of these sets. And that will only lead to more issues with people being able to get hold of this set, because those that do get hold of this set will be buying multiple of them, and thus drying up the stock even quicker. But all of this, if you are able to get hold of this set, certainly goes in your advantage. And that's why this set has the perfect storm brewing for it when it does eventually retire. I can easily see the price of this set doubling, if not tripling, within the first two years. So for me personally, this set is definitely the one that I'm going to be investing in the most. So guys, that's it for our top 10 list of LEGO sets that are retiring at the end of this year. Do you agree with me on this list, or are there some sets that you think I should have put on this list? Let me know down in the comments, as I always enjoy hearing what you guys have to say. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.